Hey, this is Edmund here, and in this video on OnPay tutorial, what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna do some uh, configurations and basic setup before we do what's more important afterwards, and that is to like add your products and add your order forms, okay? Now, but before we actually get to all of this, the so first thing is that, as I mentioned, you wanna get your configurations down correctly and uh, familiarize yourself with OnPay. So as of the time of this video, um, and it's been that way ever since the founding of OnPay, the entire interface is written in Bahasa Malaysia. So it might take a while for you to like understand what's going on if Bahasa Malaysia is not really like your first language or you're not really proficient with it. But uh, at the same time, uh, I find that it's really a, an amazing platform for uh, accepting payments locally here in Malaysia. And I think language is not so much of a barrier here because like I said, when I started using OnPay uh, until today, uh, most of my products are in, in English and uh, I do have some Basa Malaysia products as well. So language is not really a barrier over here, all right? So anyways, let's jump right into it. Now we're gonna do some basic configurations together. Now, bear in mind that what you see on my screen might differ a little bit in your own screen because mine is a matured account um, and mine is also a paid account, whereas yours is probably brand new if you just signed up or you might be using a free account. So some options might not be there, all right? So if you see some things that are a little bit different, don't freak out and uh, let's just jump into it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is that if you look at the top right, there's this thing called uh, Tatapan, okay? That means your settings. And uh, let's just go one by one, all right? Let's just go with system, okay? I had a quick look at it just now. And uh, <coughs> yeah, let's just jump right into it, okay? Now, a lot of these details are probably already filled in here because when you registered for your onpay.my account, a lot of the details would be here. But some of it might be missing like uh, Laman Web Punyagan, which means your official website. Now, you might notice that it's not a required asterisk here, but if you already have a website, just put it in uh, for completion sake. Telephone number, this is important as well because sometimes uh, you might be asked to include your phone number on the order form for support reasons. So put in a proper phone number. So this, um, obviously I put in my office number. If you don't have an office, just put in your, your, phone, your house number, okay? Or if you don't even have that, then put in your mobile phone number, okay? So the next one is normal HP, handphone number. Yep, that would be your handphone number. And Matawang Ringgit, yeah, leave this alone, all right? So you might notice there's a box here called Papa Kan Maklumat Tambahan Penyagan Pada Halaman Utama, which means display this additional information of your business on the main page, which I don't think you need to do that, okay? So even like you see, my box is unchecked. Leave it alone, all right? Now let's take, uh, by the way, once you're done with this, don't forget to click on the top right button called Simpan, which actually means save. All right, so once you save it, uh, which is why I do paranoidly, by the way, then we go to the next tab called Staff. Uh, I'm gonna leave this alone, I don't use this. Ah, okay, Affiliate. Now, if you're planning to use affiliates, as in you wanna get affiliates to promote your products in the near future, then this might be uh, rather useful to take a look at. So you're gonna notice that the URL for your affiliates to go and sign up for your affiliate program will go along the lines of your username dot on pay dot my forward slash affiliate. So this is a formula all the time. And uh, if you take a look at it right now, uh, yes, you actually have to log in uh, over here for your affiliates, okay? So you might notice there's a word called agent. So the word agent and affiliate are the same meaning in this context, all right? So when you hear the word agent, you hear the word affiliate, they're actually the same thing, okay? So if you're gonna get people to promote your products as an affiliate, this is gonna be the link that they're gonna to use to log in, see their statistics, and get their own affiliate links, all right? So username.onpay.my forward slash affiliate. Okay, next. Wajibkan pengisian maklumat bank semester pendaftaran. That means you require your affiliates to fill in their bank details when registering. I think this is actually good to check as well so that they fill in their bank details and that will save you a bit of trouble. Like when they get affiliates, they make commissions for you. So rather than you ask them, what's your bank account details? It's already there. So leave it alone. Uh, sorry, I mean, check this box. Uh, I think this is good, right? After that, active kan kod laluan untuk halaman pendaftaran. Okay, I think you can leave this alone, okay? Now, terma dan syarat, if you have any over here, I think I, this was originally blank, all right? Uh, I decided to put in my terms and conditions. I translated it into uh, Bahasa Malaysia. If you have any terms and conditions, you can put it here. All right. Alternatively, if you want to uh, follow the terms and conditions and then you want to reword it afterwards, you can check out my own affiliate page, which I'm going to leave as a link uh, below this video. Sounds good? All right. And after that, 
Okay, this are probably all defaults. I didn't really touch it. Concept of commission per timer. That means to say it's a first come, first serve or the latest. That means what this means is actually a, a cookie uh, thing going on, all right? So I think I'm going to explain a little bit what's, what's going on over here. Let's just say there's affiliate A and affiliate B promoting the same product, all right? And a visitor clicked on affiliate A, all right? So if you use concept commission of Patama, that means affiliate A will get the crediting first even though the customer or the have visited other affiliate links, right? Or you can put the latest Turkini, which I think this is probably more fair. Alright, Turkini, which means that the latest, if the person has been to A and then uh, affiliate link B and make the purchase, B will receive the credit. Alright, so I think Turkini sounds more fair, but there's no right or wrong. Okay, so I'm going to put Turkini in my case because this is an international practice. Alright. Cookie lifetime, 30 days, I think this is good enough. Um, minimum commission for payout, it's totally up to you. Maybe uh, if you want to make it worth for uh, like 50 ringgit or 100 ringgit, then you consider paying out. So some platforms or networks like ClickBank, they require a minimum payment of like 25 USD or 100 USD or something like that, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, then only they'll make the payout worthwhile. So maybe in my case, I might put 50 ringgit. Um, Julat Data Chata Top. 10 okay so i think we can just leave it alone all right uh this is not so important uh if you're going to have more products you can start adding here but i think you can leave this alone all right um uh, format paparan link affiliate that means the format of the link display okay you can put number id and uh name of the id so yeah this too is going to be checked options papa can charter top 10 agent you can okay, just leave it alone uh display email and phone number uh, customer to the agent so this one is up to you for privacy reasons maybe the affiliates have promised a bonus or maybe they want to do a data collection of their own customers that they had referred they probably have done their own paid marketing anyway so i think this is fair let's check this box so they know who their customers are and uh sahkan commission agents to tell automatic upper bill jualan di sahkan so i'm going to put this as unchecked because some payments are manual uh, at least for me because i do accept banking transfers sometimes uh, refunds may happen uh, no matter how perfect you think your business is you can sell hundreds and thousands of copies there's going to be some people that's bound to be dissatisfied like in my case as of the time of this video i've sold one of my products like i think about 500 copies i still get two refunds you know no matter how good it is and uh to say that there's two refunds out of 500 sales that's a really really big 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 uh, uh achievement already okay so anyways i'm gonna uncheck this box and uh yes let's scroll all the way up we you can confirm one more time and then click on simpan which means safe and yeah we're good okay so let's move on to dropship um i don't use this by the way uh this is not open to me okay kaeda per buyer which means payment method so you can check all uh, any of these payment methods that you are going to be accepting but it doesn't mean that you have to use all of this in one go by the way but what this just means is that uh, these are options that you can uh, afford or give out all right so in this case i have bank which means internet banking or, or um, online transfer i also accept paypal stripe bill please and check all right, so there's toy pay, there's I pay, ATA. Okay, so now does it mean I actually use all of this? Not true, right? I only use maybe like um, two or three out of the options over here. So uh, what this checkbox basically means is that you display the logo. So you you might as well display the logo. So leave it alone. All right. So actually on this page you don't really have to do anything. All right. Just want to walk you through on what what is going on here, but just be sure that Papa Khan logo is checked which i think that gives more credibility to your order form afterwards okay next is email the first notification email which which is going to be by your default your email address if you want to have a, a second notification or a third one maybe it's a business partner or an employee wants to know uh, that's okay you can put a second or a third one as well but for me i don't think there's a need so i just use one all right notifications i check almost all of it um, the only thing I've unchecked here is Palangan dropship because I don't do dropshipping. Uh, I do customers Palangan and I do live events per So that's that's fine for me. All right. So for Palangan customer pendaftaran that means registration. That's good enough. Uh, if you want to have a happy birthday message, you can. I think this was default, but I think that's really not needed at all. I think it's extra. So I unchecked ucapan hari lahir. It's it's to me it doesn't make sense, right? Um, affiliate. Yep, all these are important. Uh, pendaftaran and pen, pembayaran commission, I think this is important as well. Uh, I think 
pengesahan commission is also important. Let's check that. And uh, ucapan hari lahir. I mean, if you're a very extroverted guy, you you want to wish everybody happy birthday, you can go for it, right? But me, <laughs> that, that's just not me, okay? And uh, dropship and pengedar, um, I don't meddle with this because I don't do this, okay? So I think this is good enough. Let's click simpan, okay? And then the rest, like SMS, um, I don't use SMS system, see what it's all about. Yeah, I don't use it, okay? Uh, invoice, I think there's nothing much to think about. You can just go with, uh, this is what I did. I think this was the default text sahaja. I, I went with a picture at a site, and then you can add uh, anything that you want here. Could be a company logo. But in my case, I, I just can't be bothered. I think this is good enough. Um, status paid, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, if you wanna do a preview, you can actually just take a look at what it looks like right now. So this is what the uh, invoice will look like. Or, 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 yeah, that's pretty much what it is, okay? So you don't have to think too much. After that, it's Chukai, which means taxes. Uh, you can leave this alone. API and webhook, I don't have access to this. I'm using light dropship, so this is probably like, by the way, I'm somewhere on the near high end already. I'm probably like one or two rungs away from like premium. So I'm seeing a, like maybe 90% of the features already, all right? And chat, now this is up to you. If you want to activate a, a chat feature, that means a chat feature will appear on your order form, which is something like at this bottom left over here, all right? If you want to activate it, you can go for it. Uh, but personally, I don't do it because I'm not camping in front of the computer all the time. But this is a very useful feature if you're doing a launch or you have the, the means or the manpower to actually uh, be on your website like most of the time or even if you're getting a lot of traffic to your website to necessitate this actually uh, this could be very useful in terms of saving sales or answering questions that maybe your sales letter doesn't answer all right so whichever it is once you're done you can click on all this and uh, save all right so we're done with system already so i tell you what this video has been going on for quite a while uh, in the next video i'm going to show you uh, more on payment methods i think that's very important okay so i'll talk to you in the next video